Right, photography talk. Today we're going to talk about watermarks. I'm just going to kind of go over them and uh, give you my opinion about them. Um, you could leave a comment below why or why you do or do not use watermarks. And uh, yeah, let's get, let's jump right into it and talk about um, the main reasons. I've got some notes here. Uh, <laughs> the main reasons why somebody might use a watermark. Number one is probably advertising. If you're a professional photographer, maybe you're doing weddings or portraits, you want to put a watermark on there. Uh, it might help um, get you some business. Um, people see that watermark and they'll be able to Google you and go to your website or whatnot. Uh, the second reason would be theft. Uh, people think the watermark uh, protects their images from being stolen or makes it harder to be stolen. And then uh, the last, last one would be um, they're just proud of their image. It's uh, they think it's a piece of artwork. They feel like it's really, really awesome shot. So let's go over those. Let's start off with uh, just theft in general. A watermark really does not protect your image. Um, they, they're easily removed. Watermarks are easily removed, cloned out, or or they can just cover them up with their own watermarks. So don't think that that's really protecting your image. Um, what I like to do, and uh, in, in probably every camera in the last five five years, DSLRs, it, under the image review in the menu, um, you go in there and find it. You can put all your information, copyright information, photographer, you put all that information in there, which will be uh, hidden in the metadata of the picture. So you'll have all that information there, and that could potentially help you if your image come, becomes stolen later. Um, so, but you. There's not really a good way, if you know the best way to protect yourself from an image being stolen, uh, leave a comment below. But uh, I, personally, if I ever had an image stolen, I don't know. Um, I was in a, a Facebook group, a Tennessee Outdoor Photography, and uh, you know everybody posts, uh, you know, nature photos and, and such like that. And then uh, they they busted a guy. He was taking images off this uh, this. Facebook group and was making uh, making calendars and selling them and even one of the uh, somebody pointed out and even one of the pictures he took had a watermark on it and he still put it in his little calendar he was trying to sell I thought that was humorous but um, I, I, actually I, I think there's so many images out there on the web I think I would feel if one of my images got got stolen and used for something I would feel like pretty proud it's like hey somebody thought this <laughs> My image, was, my image was good enough to be stolen and, and used, so it just seems, seems kind of odd. But anyway, okay, so that's that on the theft part. If you know a good way to, to besides what I said, to protect yourself from an image being stolen, leave a comment below. Um, second all is, is advertising. So, um, like I said, you could leave... If you're like a wedding photographer, you might put an image at the bottom, or a portrait photographer, you might put that watermark at the bottom, so somebody could uh, Google that and find your website if need be. Uh, when I did weddings, I, I personally, I, I guess I should have said that before, I personally don't use watermarks. Um, I did use this as a selling point uh, when I did a, a few weddings back in the day, and I think it actually helped me uh, get get the clients for that. Um, I said, I, you know, I'm going to give you around 300 pictures here uh, good quality pictures and I'm not going to put my watermark in the bottom at all you are purchasing these pictures these are your pictures why would I put my name on them this is a your beautiful mom it blah 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 you know kind of going that way and I think it actually helped uh, sell a couple of images and but I would say also I, I would include some Said I will include some business cards though. So if uh, you're showing your your wedding uh, album to friends and family, you might want to hand out some of these cards because uh, if I get one of them as a client, you will get a free sorry get a free um, mini photo session, and also they will get fifty dollars off their package if they decide to to do a package with me. So that's what I kind of did with that, and, and that, I think that helped out. Did I? I didn't shoot too many weddings, so I never got, <laughs> never got any extra, uh, extra work out of that. But I, I thought it was a, a neat selling point, and I thought, I thought if I continued to do weddings, I think it would, would help out in the long run. All right, so 
that's it for advertising. The last one is um, proud, like you're proud of your image. Um, you're, you know, you think it's a, a piece of artwork or whatnot. Don't you get hit in the head with a <laughs> hickory nut. Okay, so um, I don't mean to piss you off, but if you think your image is outstanding, take two minutes to go do an internet search of the same subject or the same place. I guarantee you you'll find something a lot better. That's just, there's thousands and millions of pictures out there now. It's hard for you to, to come out with an image that, that is the best or whatnot. So, um, also, if, if, I mean, if, it's fine to be proud of your work and stuff, but it, it just comes, sometimes it comes across arrogant to me or something. Uh, especially like a, one time somebody put a, in a critique, uh, especially in this case, somebody put in a critique website or group, they put their image and, and said, ask what do you think about this? Well, they put this huge watermark over their image like somebody was going to steal it. And I'm like, it, you couldn't even really <laughs> critique it because it had this huge watermark on it. I'm like, uh, I can't really critique it because all I see is this ugly looking <laughs> watermark all over your image. It's, uh, if you think that image is that good, why do you need a critique of it? If you like it, that's all that matters. So, but anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, also, uh, I'll just say if 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 you if you are using watermarks, try to make them so they don't take away from the photograph. Put them in the corner, make them kind of opaque or something, just so your eye isn't drawn to it right away. You have to kind of search for it. I did see some really nice ones that were done that were. Um, like landscapes or whatnot, and there was a sidewalk or something like that, and uh, the the photographer like worked his watermark into the sidewalk, so it was very subtle. You didn't see it, and it, it kind of at, almost added to the picture. It was uh, really nicely done. I've seen that a few times with different things. So those are a couple of, uh, ideas to help uh, you know help you if you're proud and, and, and that, that that's fine. Another another thing about about that is uh, don't get save your watermark save save your watermark for something that's a photograph not a sh snapshot you know I, I see too many people like picking, taking like little snapshots of their dog or something and putting a watermark on it it's like well, why you know <laughs> uh, uh, it's just odd to me people doing that so yeah and I've even seen pictures that are out of focus and whatnot and that somebody puts their watermark up mark on there and if they're doing that to get work it's like nobody's gonna hire you with the blurry out of focus pictures it was just just odd anyway uh so uh yeah like i said leave a comment below do you use watermarks why you use them um if you do it for advertising have you ever got any extra business from putting the watermark on the side um and you can give a story if you've had a, a a photograph stolen before let us know uh, what happened and and whatnot um, anyway thanks for watching I don't use watermarks check out my Flickr page and, and you can see some of my photos if you've never seen them before I'll leave that in the link below um, yeah thanks a lot